Active living is a way of life where people choose to exercise every day. The Department of Human Health and Services recommends that people should get at least 150 minutes a week of moderate exercise. That's just over 21 minutes a day spent riding a bike, walking the dog, swimming or mowing the lawn. I most definitely do not get the recommended 150 minutes of exercise per day. No, I do not consider myself a healthy person. Research has shown that 67% of Aussies aged 15 and over are not getting the exercise they need. Uh, I, I, I try to eat. I try to eat well. Exercise tends to diminish a bit <laughs> during uh, stressful periods. I do wish I could exercise more, um, but with assignments and time, and then I just can't be bothered in the end. It's just too late. <laughs> it wasn't so expensive. I mean, I, I can't run outside. It's just got to be in the gym. Yeah. Very lazy, like my hot chips. <laughs> so why is this? Do Aussies of today lack the motivation to stick to a workout plan? Or are they simply unaware of the importance of constant physical activity? What would you say is your favourite thing about active living? My favourite thing about active living is that it's different for everyone. And I really feel like you can individualise what it is to you. Um, for instance, I really like going for walks, my dog, um, all the way over to lifting really heavy, powerlifting, to just, you know, jumping around, myself, mucking around myself. So you definitely think active living is important? Um, for me, most certainly, but for everyone it's going to be different. It's like um, when you first start to study or anything like that, some people are going to find it harder than others, but once you get in the groove, it becomes quite natural. Being a personal trainer, you probably work with clients on a regular basis to help them become more fit. But for all this, you underwent a similar process yourself. At what point in time did you realise you had to do something about your own fitness level? I guess it was a couple of months into working at the club. Um, my clothes didn't fit as nice as I uh, would want them to. I was playing union at the time and my diet was um, not really on track for what I would like. I thought because I was doing so much exercise I could get away with eating a lot of junk food and stuff like that. But in my opinion, diet is a lot more important than being physically active. So when the 12 week challenge arose, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to see what body fat I could get down to, get down to a healthy, reasonable way, look a bit fitter in my uniform. Can you tell us a story about one of your client's personal journeys into active living? Um, a woman came to me, it'd be in the first kind of year of working in the industry, and she ba basically confided, confided in me that she didn't even really feel like she could wear shorts in public or even tops, so she used to wear long pants and jumpers in the summer and stuff like that. So when she started her journey, it was very um, emotional um, for both of us. I felt like she um, really took on board act active living for herself and it completely changed her life. I mean, she's got a boyfriend, a lot more happier, got off her medication, she was on antidepressant medication, so that's just a really good result of active living. And so do you have any advice for people wanting to become more fitter but perhaps putting it off or making excuses? Yeah, definitely. Like, I think um, in the modern era of technology and stuff like that, it's very easy to just, you know, be on your smartphone and stuff like that and just forget about the world. But if you just get out there and, you know, go for a bushwalk, get back to nature a bit, you know, because at the end of the day, we're all animals and, you know, it's quite natural and you feel quite good. <laughs>